was not ready for that song. And you know how I know it was not ready? I watched the music video and Charlie Puth is on the piano being all amazing. And I started tearing up. It was... Hey guys, it's Iris. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about my favorite things in April. Um, I haven't filmed a proper video in like two weeks, over two weeks. So cut me some slack if I stumble over my words or it takes me a second to get to my point, but I will get there, I promise. I am somebody who loves lip balms and I always love wearing lip balms under any lip product that I am wearing because I just feel like it creates a great canvas. But recently I read in a blog post that when it gets hotter or just in general, you the two things that we forget to protect are our lips and our hands. They say during the hotter months you should wear a lip balm that has SPF in it, um, but I had a lot of trouble finding one that didn't smell like vanilla or smell really sweet and desserty because I'm not a fan of that. My lip balms, I tend to go, I tend to go for pepperminty, sort of smelling, scented lip balm. I was at Ulta and I saw um, this Kula lip balm. Um, like where all the little bins are when you're checking out. And thumbs up. also thumbs up this video if you get sucked into those little bins by the register, whether you're at Sephora or Ulta or just any store. I feel like that is the most brilliant marketing strategy, especially at Ulta. It is their Lip Lux Peppermint Plus Vanilla Lip Balm, and it has SPF 15 in it. And I love the packaging. It's really cute and summery. And pretty much it just rolls up like this. It, it smells very vanilla. And when, when I initially smelt it, I was like, oh, no. Like, where's the peppermint? I'm not going to love this. But when I apply it, it gives you that slight tingly feeling. Not as much as I would like, but it definitely gives you that tingly feeling. So I guess I can't complain too much. One thing I will say is that a little goes a long way. So you just want to do one swipe on each lip and just like, you know, blend it in by rubbing your lips together. Um, because if you put too much on it, it tends to leave little stringy bits on your lips and nobody wants that because it's not attractive. So other part of our body that we always forget to protect and that is our hands. This hand cream doesn't have SPF in it because I cannot stand the feeling of SPF on my hands. I know that's bad, but I have yet to find an SPF that doesn't feel greasy and doesn't irritate my skin. So if you, if you guys know of a good SPF that's good, that doesn't feel sticky on the hands, leave it in a comment below because Lord knows I need one. It's the Juice Beauty Green Apple Age Defy Hand Cream and it's made with organic ingredients. If you guys watch my videos, you know that I am a loyal consumer of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. But during the hotter months, I have found that that is just way too thick and way too much moisture than I need. I hate that word. What it says here also is it reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I am 26. I don't really have wrinkles yet, thank goodness. But I am a firm believer that you need to beat life to the punch. Yeah, it's so. really nice. It smells like a candied apple, but not like in a really sweet way. One thing I will say is that you do need quite a bit because I find that if when I put a pea size amount, it absorbs into my skin so quickly that I almost forget that it was on my skin. And it's just like I have to reapply it in an hour. Um, but I think it's a good thin formula for the hotter months. So next I want to talk about the lip combination that I have been wearing so much lately except for the time the week that I lost it which was frustrating. Um, it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I This is honestly the whole reason I'm doing this video because I haven't heard anybody talk about this combination so I was like I have to tell my people about it. They are both MAC products. The first one is a lip liner and I heard about this one through is it Mariana or Mariana Hewitt? But she is on YouTube and she's a blogger. Um, and I think she's a correspondent as well, entertainment correspondent. She's really pretty. She's really like charismatic and I love her. It is a morning coffee lip liner and it's right here. It's a gorgeous sort of dusty, pinky, nude, mauve uh, lip liner. For me, it's, it's like a amp amped up My Lips But Better color. And the lipstick that I put on top of it is a matte lipstick. This is Velvet Teddy. It's like a pink brown nude color. Um, it's a very popular matte lipstick here on YouTube or just in general. Um, 
I can't wear Velvet Teddy on its own. It completely washes me out. It's like concealer on my lips. But paired with uh, morning coffee, I think it's the perfect mauve not too over the top, not quite Kylie Jenner uh, lip color. Next, I'm going to talk about a mascara that I've been using anytime that I wear makeup. This is the Milani Runway Lashes. It says instant volume, and it actually does. It, it volumizes and separates my lashes. And if so. you like the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition, you need to get the Runway Lash. And how cool is the packaging? It's so sleek, and the writing is almost like air, like... Iridescent. So the next product I want to talk about is a nail polish. This is Essie's Bond with Whomever. And this is the most beautiful, cool tone, purpley pink color without being pastel and chalky and flaky and all those things that I talked about that I do not like. Um, I don't know. I'm just obsessed with cool tone colors. This one is like a nude cool tone pink. This is Petite Four by OP or no, Orly's Petite Four. It's amazing. It's one of my staples. Uh, Especially if you're somebody like me who wears a lot of blacks and charcoals and just very like toned down colors. If you want a touch of like feminine, you have to throw in like a cool tone pink nail polish. It just instantly gives your outfit a pop of that girly, a pop of girliness. I don't know. A girly vibe. The reason I really love this watch is because I'm going through a silver phase right now. I was into rose gold and then it was like two toned and then now I'm into silver. And I think the navy face or the blue face just is really, it's a pop of color in my otherwise colorless outfits. Um, and it goes with everything and I think it looks really nice with um, like cool toned pink nails. I don't know, the contrast is cool. So, next I'm gonna talk about a few lifestyle products. The first one is a deodorant. Okay, that is like, why are you talking about deodorant? But I think when it's hot outside, no matter how, you know, skinny you are, you glisten, okay? Notice how I said glisten and not sweat, okay? Because sweat is, it is reality, but it's a kind of an, less than attractive word. Anyway, this is the Kiss My Face Natural Active Life Fragrance-Free Deodorant. I have always been a secret deodorant girl. I was like, there is nothing that can change my mind. I'm always gonna love secret, the fragrance-free gel, like clear one, I don't know what it's called. But then I was saw this one at Marshall's because Marshall is my home girl or homie. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Anyway, so because I, it said active life and it has no parabens, chloral hydrate, don't know what that is, and aluminum in it. And those are bad things. I know that. And people have been telling me that for years. They're like, you need to use a more natural deodorant. They don't sound like that. But they do say that. I so, feel proud of myself that it's natural and it's a step in the right direction. Um, These are the wet one sensitive skin extra gentle wipes. When I'm at Ulta, when I'm at Sephora, when I'm anywhere that there are things to be swatched, I am swatching them. And my hand usually looks like a speckled mess. I don't know that these will take off eyeliner, but if your foundation is running and you just, like it's irritating your eyes, these work on that too because they don't have alcohol in them, they won't irritate your skin. Just don't like rub, you know? Um, I, for when it's like, I don't know, warm outside and when the sun, is, yes, okay, I live in California, it's always warm outside. But I'm saying when it's like spring and summer, I like to listen to more upbeat songs. And one of my favorites lately has been Fifth Harmony's Them Girls Be Like, it's just catchy. Those two songs are just so beautifully made. And every time they come up on my Spotify, I'm like totally jamming out. And people next to me are like, is she 16? Whatever. I made. And Charlie Puth is a YouTuber, so team internet gotta support, right? And I watch all the Fast and Furious movies. I watched, what is that? Blue something. The one with Jessica Alba. Oh my god. Into the Blue, is that what it is? Even though I'm almost like a masochist listen to, listening to that song because it just pains me and it makes me emotional, but every time it comes on the radio. I'm like, it's been a long day. Without you, my friend. So those are my favorite products. What's with this? So much movement in this video. Those are my favorites for April. I will link everything down below. I usually link on my blog, but I'm not really happy with my blog right now, and it's a long story. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed what I loved in April. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. 
for more favorites videos. Hopefully there's a haul coming up. Ugh, don't need to go shopping, but I want Monday. to. I'm still uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but this week is a little bit different because I haven't uploaded in so long. So this video is going up on Monday and I will have another video for you guys on Saturday. It's probably gonna be the 100 questions nobody asked because it's hilarious. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a successful week and I will see you on Saturday. Bye! These are what they look like and you unwrap them and you can eat this. It's covered in rice paper and you can eat that.